We're going to see that this guy begins min-raising a lot, so we can defend a good deal wider against him than we could against a 3xing opponent, and also because we're going to see that he has a high raise for us percent. So he's raising 70% of buttons, which isn't shocking by any means. You'll definitely see other players with a raise for us percent like that, but it's on the high end. King 3 suited, we're going to check back here. We have 5 or 5 and a half outs with a gut shot as well as a backdoor flush draw. Plus, we could be good. And there aren't too many better hands that are going to fold. Pretty much every bet. We're looking to fold out ace high or charge a 10. But we're going to often check back ace high or king high on a really connected flop like this that hits his defense range pretty hard. Once he shows more weakness by checking the turn, we're going to semi-bluff when we pick up a flush draw. And he calls. So we've got to put him on a range at this point. After he checks twice, most likely hands for him. He could have a 10, but a lot of the time he's going to have a 9. If he is a jack, he probably bets out the turn. He could have a 5, so probably a 9 or a 5 are the most likely hands for him. And so it's unlikely he's going to call too big a bet. This would be the biggest you'd really want to bet here, even though you have a strong hand, because pretty much we're hoping that he here calls with a 9 or a 5. So 7s are pretty much the same category there. And obviously he didn't give us much credit after checking back the flop. After we check back the flop, that is. King Jack suited easy open. He three bets us. Now, given that we're gonna see from the match as a whole that he is a three bit percent of twenty four, it would actually be fairly reasonable to just jam on him here. But at this point in the match I didn't know that his three bet percent was gonna be this high. It was his first one. And so, since King Jack suited plays well post flop, I elect to call getting 2 to 1 in position and take the flop. Obviously, a really bad flop for us, and rather than get super stubborn in a huge pot, I just bail. Any suited face card, I'm going to be opening on the button. His BB fold to steal percent, 48%, so basically he's folding half the time to a steal. We're not going to show an immediate profit. You know, he is defending wide enough. But at the same time, we're going to come in with position, still raise a lot of hands, get some folds, and play pots in position. Here with queen high, you could definitely see bet if you did something like 40 to 50 would be plenty. But with queen high, again, if we bet, we're not going to fold out ace higher better. And we're probably not going to get called by jack high. So I like to just check back and try to get to showdown. And now we're definitely value bet, so a lot of the time he has jack high, maybe he has ace high, so we're just going to bet something small and hope that he hero calls us once again. But he doesn't. 7-2 off, definitely fold. 8-5 suited I would raise, but off suit we just toss. So this may or may not look like a loose defense, but again, given that he's raising 70% of buttons and he's min-raising, getting 3 to 1 we can defend pretty wide. And so jack 2 suited is going to be around the bottom of my defense range. And when we defend, generally when we miss, we're just going to be check folding. But if we do have any decent hand or draw, we'll often get a check raise. And if we have a hand like bottom pair, ace high, we'll often check call and just try to get to showdown cheaply. And king four is similar to jack two suited, about on the bottom of my defense range. So at this point we're just trying to show down and we toss it. You can make some argument for calling here and open to showdown king high, but some of the time he even has ace high, you know, it's not necessarily a nuts or nothing spot.